risk of e-commerce and the contents of uh, the uh, risk uh, of uh, e-commerce uh, is first one the possible risk of e-commerce and the rest of are the seven th seven threads of e-commerce e-commerce security e-commerce security system measure to ensure security case study and uh, our presentation will end up with a conclusion let's talk of first what is the e-commerce e-commerce is the trading of goods and services on the internet that provides the businesses a lot of exposure and access to the market and the large audience which was not possible with our traditional businesses as this e-commerce business gets benefited with the wide range of customer and easy supplies to them along with the some risk and the the uh, these re risk and the security threats gives the owner and customer in big trouble and uh, now we discuss on the seven most inevitable threats to the e-commerce that includes the online security breaches in online uh, security breaches, the e-commerce e faces the cyber attacks and the disruption of the main control flow of mainstream, which uh, means that uh, the the factory a product starts from a factory, which traveling and uh, goes to the end point at the customer. All the process is covered up with uh, internet and uh, th that will attack by the cyber uh, cyber attackers that uh, they try to break the con uh, control flow and uh, they have also intention to fetch the customers data their uh, banking accounts and etc the basic informations that we that has which has stored by the or e-commerce owners and the second uh, second one is the client dispute and refunds in the biggest it is the biggest uh, problem with the e-commerce which has a um, online shopping centers the where the clients can claim the refunds for the disputes and the sellers have to accept that uh, Refunds. The most of the time dispute arises when the product never arrived and the amount has charged. And uh, some cases that the product which uh, returned the, uh, that product is not in the condition. So many uh, dispute arises with the client and the sellers. But the refund should be be provided to the client and third one is the violation of intellectual property it is the main important thing for the e-commerce industry the logos websites and the content taglines just like amul amul has logos amul has taglines and if some same tagline is covered up with other rival company rival then the this will affect the customers and markets so it is the violation of this intellectual property gives a very shock to the e-commerce businesses and the fourth one is the credit card scams the ma major transaction is occurred with the online shopping uh, like uh, UPI and uh, credit cards and debit cards and these information are stored in the data center of the e-commerce businesses and the hackers or anybody can store 
the credit card information for online transaction for their self and this will affect uh, largely to the e-commerce businesses and the next part we'll discuss with my friend so thank you Sivan good evening sir and all my friends I am Sasi Bhusan Thakur and so along with some threats mentioned earlier by Sivan these are also some of the threats for e-commerce so talking about low SEO ranking it is more usual threat for the e-commerce these days as Google keeps on changing its algorithm and it drastically affects our ranking low SEO ranking means low traffic which ultimately affects in less number of sales and so which it affects the business in negative way now talking about the poor customer service poor customer service can lead to serious concerns of the business in the bad way it can affect the e-commerce more negatively if customer service is not well by the organization it can include many loopholes like rude and unprofessional customer service agents and inventory management not being up to date and the, the third one is weak authentication method we as an online e-commerce organization must be concerned about the authentication method if we will have basic authentication method then we can be more easily become the victim of the cyber crimes these days even if you are authenticating the customer by id and password then also it is not sure that the information will be protected so we, we must have some strong authentication method for the insurity of the online security as online business platform now next slide next slide Sivan. so for these threats what we have discussed earlier we strongly need e-commerce security so uh, as an online business so talking about this so it is basically the set of globally accepted guidelines that ensure a safe purchasing experience on the internet uh, by the customer it is also beneficial for both the organization and customers which makes sure for the organization that products are being sold in the safe manner and at the same time it is also makes sure that the customer information is also protected so ne ne next slide now talking about the e-commerce security system so uh, security actually plays a big role in the functioning of uh, business and it becomes more critical when it is being discussed for e-commerce so these are some of the essential requirements for safe e-payments transactions so, in, uh, so one of them is confidentiality in this it states about the information should not be accessible to an unauthorized person it should not be intercepted during the transmission too now coming to the part integrity it is ensured in this that information is being transferred not by al uh, altered so information should not be altered during its transmission over the network and third one is availability so it is it states that information should be available wherever and whenever required within a time limit specified so thank you from next slide will be discussed by Rahul Aryan um, good evening sir and good evening my friends uh, so here my friends talk about the some of the e-commerce security system and i am continuing that part uh, so authenticity it's uh, it is a mechanism where uh, authenticated a user before giving him access uh, there there is some kind of uh, uh, access requirement needed and second is non reputability it is the protection against the daniel order of a Daniel payment once the sender sends some message, the sender should not be able to deny a sending message. Similarly, the recipient of message should not uh, able to deny the receipt. And third one is encryption. Uh, uh, information, information must be encrypted and decrypted only by an authorized user so that the uh, it can 
improve the security and fourth one is auditability data should be recorded in such a way that it can be audited for integrity requirements next slide please uh, here some of the measures uh, which must be taken to ensure the security security of the system uh, uh, here first one is encryption it, it, it is uh, very effective and it is widely used in every kind of uh, network to ensure the security like a sender of the information must be encrypt the data using secret secret code and only a specified receiver and can decrypt the data using same or different secret code and second one is sign digital signature digital signature also ensure the authenticity of the information a digital signature is uh, a kind of authenticated through encryption of password and third one is security certificate security certificate is a unique digital uh, id used to verify the identity of an indiv individual website or user next slide please uh, here we uh, studied a case study case, case study over the uh, e-commerce risk and risk global trade and cyber crime uh, so it is e risk is a potential financial technology problems to a result from doing e-commerce development in economic industry and regulatory condition create a new challenges for business like cyber space is open to all kinds of the hackers or villains who uh, intrude in your computer and steal your data or can also harm your business at a, at a greater extent so people <coughs> so, so organ organization needs to uh, make some kind of mechanism so that it can avoid the greater loss of the company or the uh, their customer and at the individual level also uh, it uh, it access to the system required hackers can potentially cause major problems by deleting more different data the thank you sir next slide will be presented by our so good evening sir and good evening my friend so in this paper author has also risk and uh, the reason of the risk related to the e-commerce so the main reason uh, is that uh, internet was not initially designed for businesses and uh, uh, due to this it was not designed to control and manage business risk so generally e-commerce websites and e-commerce businesses uh, in some major uh, control or secret transaction method to protect uh, the related information and some of the related risks uh, on the uh, on the e-commerce e uh, the author uh, has described are like businesses have expanded to international level, which has increased the risk factor uh, very drastically. Ever changing e commerce environment alert us to unknown and newer risks which cannot be solved using old techniques. And with increasing uh, of the computer power and connectivity and is, is speed, the different types of viruses are developed by hackers which can be used to penetrate our system and damage to our uh, business. Next slide. Yeah. So, uh, we have included uh, our second paper, uh, which is uh, also a study on e-commerce threats. And the title of the paper is e-commerce in India and opportunities and challenges. And the author of this paper is Raj Kumar Singh, which is, uh, who, who is a research scholar. And in this paper, he describes the weaknesses and threats of e-commerce we faced in India, in the environment of India. So the main threats of e-commerce in India are payments and transactions. Another one of the main threats are risk and fraud and cyber security. In India, the cyber security measures are not up to level. That's why the businesses uh, faces many cyber cyber crime and cyber security uh, risk. Uh, if you look at the uh, current examples in last uh, last month, a uh, AIMS uh, server were hacked by, uh, by uh, hackers. That was a major disadvantage, and that shows that, uh, that the, our security system measures is not up to date. And another threat uh, related to e-commerce are uh, low uh, trust, bad customer and digital experience and uh, 
uh, low framework which can uh, which customer can use to access our e-commerce business and the weaknesses related to e-commerce are uh, it uh, sometimes it uh, costs us more than our traditional uh, methods and uh, the delivery of the goods takes sometimes more more time uh, next slide so at last uh, uh, we want to say that uh, with e-commerce increasing day by day very drastically the risk involved in this business also is also increasing very at a very rapid scale and for uh, secure businesses and sec transaction practice we have to ensure proper security measures and uh, proper uh, anti cyber threats uh, team and we have to establish uh, e risk management teams at our businesses to ensure that our system does not get damaged by the hackers or unwanted people thank you sir very good very good presentation